What's up guys? Now you might be wondering why is she in a car? Why is she on her vlogging camera? Like what the F is going on? I thought this was a Q&A video and it is a Q&A video, but they're doing some like extremely, extremely crazy construction on my house, like literally jackhammering stuff. And it's to the point where it was just way too loud and I could not even hear myself. You already know I was gonna like set my cameras up. I was gonna like do my production, you know, like get my angles and everything, but there was just no way, like absolutely no way. So we're gonna be doing the Q&A in the car. It's just a little change of scenery I'm still gonna be answering your guys's questions before you guys click out of this video because I know some of you guys are gonna be like yo this Q&A is lame like it's literally in a car what is she doing I don't even want to watch this before you click out I'm gonna be talking about boys so now that I have your attention let's get into this Q&A and I am gonna do my best to pick the ones that I think you guys want to hear as well as answer them as honestly as possible so without further ado let's get into the first question question number one what nationality are you? So I get asked this a lot and some of you guys have even guessed. I'm gonna give you guys like five seconds to comment below and let me know what you guys think I am or what I look like I am because I've heard some of you guys say I look like Indian, some of you guys say I look like Asian and obviously like white and black, stuff like that. I am actually Nicaraguan and I am African American. So I'm basically Hispanic and black. My dad is Nicaraguan and my mom is black. I am really mad at my dad because he didn't teach me Spanish as a kid. Like how cool would I be? If I literally just was able to speak Spanish that would be so unexpected and people would probably be amazed so I'm really mad at my dad for that but it's all good uh, both cultures are really cool get to embrace both of them and the food on both of them is bomb what's the hardest custom you've done and how long did it take you to do it the hardest custom I've ever done um, that's a good question a lot of them are hard but okay here's the thing the customs for me are only hard because of mixing the colors like colors is just a whole another story for me the pattern stuff like that sometimes is easy for me and i don't really have that great of an artistic background but sometimes the patterns are easier than just mixing the colors there's times where i'm just sitting there mixing the colors for either hours or days like i've legit spent maybe three or four days mixing colors sometimes it's crazy that's the hardest hardest part of customs for me so i I want to say the hardest one I've ever done is I'm gonna say the Supreme Fives because the base color I remember just mixing it for days and days and days and it was so hard for me because it had kind of like a golden brown undertone but at the same time it was kind of like grayish so I was just mixing that color for so long I almost gave up on it I was like I'm not gonna be able to do this and then finally I just put together a mixture and it actually worked out pretty nicely. Can you put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it? Duh. Roll clip. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. It's your primitive if it's wet yet. Piece of cake. What's your favorite custom that you've done? That's a good question because I feel like I've done a lot of customs at this point. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Supreme Fours. Like those were actually really, really good. I feel like I can look at pictures still today and be like, damn, like I can't believe I did that because that was one of my first pattern customs. And um, it was the first time I ever did kind of like detail work. So I was doing a lot of like colorways and stuff before that. And then I was like, I'm just gonna try the Supreme pattern. And I was so scared because that ish looked terrifying to do. Like I was like, I'm not even gonna be able to do this, but I just tried it. I was like, I'm gonna sketch it out first and I'm just gonna see what happens. And it actually came out like really, really good. So really pleased with, rude, rude. How come a camera lens is round, but the picture is square? How come a camera lens is round, but round, but the pictures? Obviously, if you, you know, look in the camera and you see the sensor and the sensor is, um, you know, filled with the quadriladric um, rotator, then obviously you get a picture that is square, but you take that and then you multiply it by the quadratic formula and put it into pi and I have no idea. What is your favorite hyped shoe? So when you say the word hyped, I automatically, my mind just automatically goes to like Yeezys or something like that. I think my favorite hyped shoe, and I'm only saying this because you're saying the word hyped, so I'm gonna have to go with the turtle doves because that's my favorite Yeezy besides the belugas. I like the V2s, but the belugas definitely are my favorite with the V2s. The turtle doves are originally my favorite Yeezy. I really wish I could come up on a pair of those, but man, those are expensive. Expensive AF now and I've come to the realization that you know what I might just 
I might just never own them. I might never own them, but that's okay because um, I'm for sure gonna get a pair of V2s. Don't know which ones yet. Hopefully the Belugas, but stay tuned. Why do you always have a red fingernail polish? No, honestly, I don't know. I just freaking like the color red, like what the hell? And I freaking like when my nails are red, all right? So you know how people have like their signature, their logo or their style or whatever? I got my red nail polish and I don't even care. Haters gonna hate. How long do customs usually take you? Okay, customs for me basically range from a day to three days. So I can do, okay, say colorway changes, I can do those in a day. like. Jordan 1s, a lot of the laser customs, like the frags, the breads, the royals. I know a lot of people are spreading those into like weeks, months, whatever, finishing those shoes because it's a lot of work. But I have found just like little ways to do things easier and quicker and more efficiently. So I'm a beast at those. I can do them so fast. Like literally, you want me to give you an example of how fast I can do them? All right, you wanna see me run from here to there and come back? You wanna see me do it again? Oh, that's how fast I can do them. And also that joke was from SpongeBob, so credits go to SpongeBob if you guys have ever seen that episode, shouts out. Other than that, I think it's crazy because the design customs are the ones that I can finish the fastest. Like the Bape NMDs, I know a lot of you guys were like, holy crap, how did she do that? And a lot of you guys were amazed, but that custom took me, so, like I did that custom so fast just because the pattern was so, I don't know how to describe it. It was like I was throwing random blobs everywhere, but everything came together like a puzzle piece. It was just random, but it was amazing. And I did that one really, really fast. Uh, but usually it'll take me one day for the left shoe and one day for the right shoe, unless the color is super crazy and I can't figure it out then it'll take me like maybe four days because I'll spend probably two days mixing the color and then the other two days actually finishing the shoe how did you get into customs it's a really really long story but I'm gonna try to shorten it as much as possible if you guys watched my video previously of when I told you guys my eBay story and how I started I basically started when I was like 15 my dad got me into it I sold a crazy amount of stuff and I literally was able to buy a car in one summer that's how crazy the hustle was and the grind was so there was a period of my life where I was just thrifting like crazy and just getting a ton of merchandise and I was just like how can I flip things faster and also I wanted something to do in my downtime or like my free time so I kept going to thrift stores and I saw videos on restoring hats I saw a ton of videos on restoring hats so I was like all right I'm gonna like try to go into a thrift store and I'm gonna try and find as many vintage hats as possible and then just like restore them and sell them but the problem was there wasn't enough hats in the stores it was just kind of like a rare thing to find, finding a vintage hat. So I started looking at shoes and I was like, huh, can I do something with shoes? And it's really, really funny because I went back home, I looked on YouTube and the first person's video I ever saw customizing a pair of shoes was the man himself, Paul Cantu. And it's really crazy because I hung out with him, thrifted with him and we're like cool now. And that was literally the person that got me into it. And then I found my first pair of shoes that I was gonna customize. And it's crazy because it was my first ever YouTube video. That was my first custom for all you people wondering. That was the first time I ever customized a shoe. And a lot of you guys don't even believe that it was the same shoe. Some of you guys are like, oh, she switched the shoes. But I'm not kidding you guys. I found that shoe for $9 at a thrift store. I cleaned it up, I made it white again, and I put some dope waves on it. And ever since then, I've been addicted to the custom game I've been learning things along the way and it's just been great do you think you'll ever come out with a vlog channel a vlog channel um, I'm not really sure I don't think I ever will actually you know what I'm not even gonna say that because I could totally come out with a vlog channel I love vlogging vlogging is completely fun but at the same time I just feel like my life isn't interesting enough for you guys to like tune in every single day or however many times I vlog I mean if you guys want to see me like painting a lot and doing homework a lot, and if you wanna see a lot of in and out if you wanna see a lot of fries, if you wanna see a lot of burritos, if you wanna see a lot of me consuming things, then yeah, then for like, I will make a vlog channel for you guys. If you wanna see me sleeping a lot, then yes, vlog channel for sure. I do wanna vlog more, but I'm not really sure if you guys like vlogging. I think you guys like trip to the thrifts, but I'm not sure if you guys like actual vlogs where it's like my life. It's not really about like thrifting. It's like about me and just like what I'm doing. Comment below and let me know if you guys like that because I love to vlog. It's fun. It's great, but I just don't know if you guys like it. So 
I don't know. <laughs> what are the best spots to go thrifting in the Bay Area and what cities are the best to thrift in? So this is a really good question to answer because a lot of the time I get you guys asking me, where should I go thrifting? What are the best thrift stores? What are the best cities to thrift in? And for this question, I'm not even gonna say what are the best places to go in the Bay Area. I'm talking about everywhere. So thrifting isn't really about where you are. It's not really about what city you're in. It's mainly about how much you go thrifting how frequent you go thrifting and how many places you go in a day so when i'm thrifting i will dedicate one entire day going thrifting and i won't just go to one store and i don't find anything and then i stop i will go to multiple stores i literally will hit most of the places in the bay area that i can in the time frame and that's how i find all the stuff that i do so i don't thrift every single solitary day i thrift maybe Mm, like twice a week or something like that it's been a lot less frequent ever since i started making videos but i will thrift maybe like twice a week and when i thrift i go to multiple places and that is my biggest secret to you guys i can't tell you how much people ask me how do you find the things you do how do you get so lucky um stuff like that and that's my answer to you guys go to as many places as you can and maybe set aside like a whole day to go thrifting or maybe spread it out over like the week or something but it's just really going to multiple places. It's just about luck, it's about how much you go, and it's about how many places you go to. YouTube tips for us. And I am so glad I'm gonna be answering this question on camera because this is like my number one question sliding into my DMs. A lot of you guys being like, um, how do I start my channel? Any YouTube tips, any customizer tips for a new customizer? And my biggest advice for you guys is quality content, quality videos, and quality customs, and my biggest piece of advice that I tell a lot of people is take your time, be patient. A lot of the customs that you see me and other customizers doing, they are not happening overnight. You should be working and you should be taking your time. It should take a really long time, but the longer you take, the better that, you know, the product is going to come out. So also with the videos and YouTube, I believe that the custom is 50% of it, but the other 50% is the video. So I would invest in some like good lighting. I would invest in a good backdrop and I would also invest in a good editing program. So take your time editing and also take your time with the custom but my biggest 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 piece of advice is just to be very very patient best thrift come up all right so my best thrift come up something completely random something that you guys are gonna be like what the hell but this was my best oh wait this isn't a thrift come up oh crap okay this isn't a thrift come up but this is like my best come up i'll also tell you my best thrift come up but I'm gonna talk about my best like profit come up. So my best profit wise come up was uh, when I was thrifting a lot and I started to want to get into Amazon. So there was this app where you could download it on your phone and then you could go to stores and you could just scan items and see how well they sold on Amazon and like kind of how much they were selling for, stuff like that. So I downloaded this app and I was just going to a bunch of stores and just like scanning stuff. And I went with my friend to these Radio Shacks because a while ago, a bunch of Radio Shacks were closing. They were having like 50% off sales, just crazy sales. So we were like, what the hell, like let's go in. So we started scanning uh, some of the items. There wasn't really a lot there because people had cleaned the store out, but there wasn't really much there. We were just scanning everything that was left. And we came up on this one product. I don't even know what it was to be real. Like to this day, I still don't even know what it was. It was like a VHS converter to something like it was had something to do with being a vhs converter to something i'm not really sure what it was so we scanned it and it turned out to be like the number two best-selling thing on amazon so we were just like what the hell this is crazy my friend was too scared to pick up some so she picked up i think like one and i was like yo i'm about to take all of them and she was like no 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 just take some of them and just see how they sell so i grabbed a few of them i think i just grabbed like maybe five six something like that and then i went home and i listed them on ebay because i just wanted to see how they were going to do on ebay and i am not kidding you these things sold like candy it was like every 10 minutes my phone just vibrating sold one of those and i was like holy crap i was selling them for like 50 bucks and i bought them at radio shack they were like 50% off or something like that. I don't remember what the percentage was, but I basically got them for like six, seven dollars, maybe eight dollars. I don't really remember. It was a while ago. And I was selling them for 50 bucks. So every second it was just like 50 bucks, 
50 bucks, 50 bucks. And I was like, holy crap, I'm gonna go back to the store and I'm gonna buy every single one of them that was left. So I did that, I went back, I got a bag I'm with my dad and we just grabbed like every single one they had. And I remember walking out of the store with like bags filled with them. So I listed all of them on eBay and oh, man, it was crazy because I remember being at the dentist and I was laying back in the chair. The guy was like doing things in my mouth, working, you know. I already know you guys are gonna comment about that. I know you guys are gonna say something dirty about that, but you know what a dentist does, okay? The dentist was like filling my cavity or something. There you go. Dentist was like filling my cavity and then just my phone was vibrating, like kept selling them. I kept looking at my phone and it just was like, selling them every couple minutes. Those things were selling like crazy and I was just getting 50 bucks from each sale. Profit was amazing on those and I ended up selling every single one of them. My friend ended up selling the one that she picked up. She effed up, she should have gotten all of them, <laughs> but no, she was fine with it. She um, sold the one that she got, I sold every single one of them and I made a ton of money from those. So the profit game was crazy on that. I don't know what the hell that product is, but man, people were just fiending for that product. But let's see, my best thrift come up was, uh, there was this one day that I was thrifting and I just went to a bunch of random places and I thrifted, I might still have pictures of it. So if I do have pictures of it, I'm gonna search and then I'm gonna put them up right here somewhere around there and there if I find them. If I don't find them, then maybe one's gonna pop up and then the other one's not gonna pop up. Or maybe if I don't find them, then none of them are gonna pop up. Why don't you upload more? All right, so I'm glad you asked this because um, I feel as though I need to explain why I don't upload like really, really frequently. So the reason that I don't upload more is because you guys do not understand how long it takes to make just one custom video. I almost feel like it's to the point where everything has its own separate day. So like I'll do the custom, uh, maybe two Two days and then I'll do the editing on one day and then I'll do this on one day and then I'll I don't even know but it almost feels as though if I miss one day of doing those things then the video is not gonna be finished for the end of the week so it feels like time is very very constricted with it especially getting it out like in a week because there's so much to do with it as much as I want to upload like every single solitary day I would be giving you guys some trash quality. I'd rather give you guys some good quality stuff. I'm gonna say the reason that I don't upload more is because quality over quantity. The number one question that you guys ask, I see it all the time. You guys are always asking me all the time. Are you single? Do you have a boyfriend? Why don't you have a boyfriend? Who do you go with? However you wanna ask it, basically, do you have a boyfriend and why don't you have a boyfriend? And I am totally, totally fine with answering this question and I'm gonna answer it honestly and I'm gonna get a little bit deep with you guys right now. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I am not single. I'm dating Benjamin Franklin, no, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I am completely single, I am 100% single. And the reason why I'm single is because I just feel like we're in a generation where a lot of guys, I'm not saying just guys, girls too, but for me in my case, a lot of guys are really into like flings, they're into like hookups, they're into like short term stuff. That's completely fine because we're young and I understand that. If that's you, do your thing. But for me, it's just, I'm just not about it. I'm not about that. And it's almost embarrassing to say, and I know a lot of you guys are like judging me right now, but I'm not into like the whole just having a little fling having a little short thing and something that's just completely ungenuine and I'm not complaining I'm not tripping I'm not like going out of my way to look for it like let me go get this money real quick let me get this degree real quick and let me do what makes me happy real quick like I am fine with that and if I have to wait until the age where things can be genuine then I will do it I don't need someone in my life to like complete it or whatever I've had my fair share of relationships I've had short relationships I've had long relationships guys have left me I've left guys it goes either way but those experiences have made me like cautious and I just feel like I have really 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 good judgment at who's actually genuine and who's trying to just have a little thing so that's the reason I'm single but at the same time I'm not really like tripping about it I'm not really looking for anything if something comes my way completely fine not gonna turn away from it but yeah so to answer your question I am single and I am totally okay with it favorite place to eat Oh wait. 
What was the question? Can my question be the first question you answer? Oops. I just, I just